All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Tom Barry Pond. This is my playthrough of Fatal Frame 5, Made in the Blackwater. I believe this is episode 7. So let's keep going. In the course of their investigation, Ren and Rui learn of Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who settled on Mount Hakami. His writings are certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its particular folklore. Folklore. <laughs> folklore. Ren and Rui happen across a videotape that may just indicate the way to Watarai's residence. Oh, snap. <coughs> we here now. He was helping you look for postmortem photographs, wasn't he? He went missing. I'm I guess so. Know he's still alive. It's all shadowy up in here, mine. Oh, I'm an idiot. Where are we? Held shut by a powerful force. All right. Try the other door. Oh, no. Why would you wander off alone? I... Dummy. Ah, oh, it's a chick with the white hair. A little creep with the white hair. <coughs> Oops. I'm not supposed to talk to the living. If she's not supposed to talk to the living, does that mean that the other girl is dead or something? Barely. I'm a girl. Liar. I honestly thought that was a boy. I am. <clears throat> see. In that case. Using the, the wrong point? pronouns. This is an effigy of you. No. I'll make you into an effigy. Oh, so creep, so creep. Run, dude. Let's punch her right in between the eyes. Creepy ass ghost child. So I thought Rui was a boy, right, this whole time. Oh my god. Little assholes. Scare the fuck out of me. <clears throat> that shit got me. Where did you go? Little jerks. I want to check with downstairs first. I want to check down there. His reflection looks like a ghost on the water. 
<clears throat> Looks like there's like a ghost trying to grab him sometimes. Creeps me out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that good good right there, man. What do we got over here? Oh, I can't take it from this side. Sacred waters. Grabbing all the items. Shrine of Dolls 2. Alright. The children are playing sometimes. I wake up at night feeling their presence. The following morning, dolls uh, that I know I've put away have moved someplace else. Yeah, that's creepy as hell. Uh, the more this happens, the more clearly I hear the sounds of playing. And the more often I have dreams where I I'm there among the children playing with them. <clears throat> I can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of them. Last night, it felt like I was being watched. I awoke to find a white-haired girl sta staring at me. She said, don't worry, your daughter is playing with the doll you fixed. After that, she disappeared. Those eyes. It's like she could see everything. She even seemed to answer the very question that was on my mind. She's inside your head, B. Gotta watch out for that, yo. Is there anything behind these guys? N Ooh. Nope. we here? Another creepy ass doll. Let's check the map. Uh, maybe I should head back to where I was in the beginning. Uh, first let's see what's out this door. This is where I fought them last time. I can hear them. What is this? Ah. <coughs> oh, I can't go any further. Gotta go back to the Shrine of Dolls. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm guessing I have to track down the three kids. I got I got one of them so far. Uh, where am I at? That's one. Top left corner here. Uh, yeah. Another 
piece of paper. Friend of Dolls 4. Today's dream was, shit, uh, was stifling. It was night and several men carrying burning flames spent a long time exploring the area underneath the main shrine. They carried a huge reliquary underground, burying it where no one could ever find it. That white-haired girl was sleeping inside the box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. I didn't have what she wanted. At least, I felt like I didn't. I remember feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. Creepy ass doll again. <coughs> do, 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 do. You did it. Okay. I think this is the beginning again. Right. Check this area. Oh, fucking creepy. That way is the water, I think. Wait a second. I think I want to double check this room. <clears throat> there might be something I, I'd forgotten. Maybe some secret hiding that I gotta shoot with my camera or something. Let's comb, let's comb this important room out. Not picking up on anything yet. What was it? Oh no. Nah, probably can't go down there yet. Yeah. Alright. Nothing's showing up. I'm getting no little uh, arrow cursors. Telling me there might be something nearby. I guess that's what I gotta keep an eye out for. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look at the map again. I'm gonna explore like these little uh that workshop here. The closet. I haven't really thoroughly explored that. And this little area here. Let's do that. Where are you, dude? Do that. I didn't have time to catch her. Shoot. Man, shoot. There's one more little rugrat hiding somewhere. 
check out this map. Yeah, it seems like I went right out there. I didn't check this little sanctum hallway, whatever they called it. I hear it. Oh, it was right at my feet. There he is. You you really came for me. You you all right? Yes. Ruby seems to be okay. I have to find the way to the veiled house. Yuri said there's an entrance to a cave below, the doll display in front of the shrine. Yeah. I remember. Don't get lost this time, kiddo. Oh my god. Oh, look at him. What you gonna do, player? What you gonna do, player? Oh, horse shit. Sucked. <sighs> so it's this guy's job to I guess dump them in there. My body is lost to the depths of the black water. Sucks to be you, man. Let's get the flock out of here. Oh my god. Drop kicker. The girl. You didn't keep it with you. My token. Token? Did you lose it? But our promise...
Down we go. Look for a way to the abandoned house. Alright. Thanks. You, you know, I've been waiting. What are you talking about? I... It's not important. I understand now. Well, I don't understand it at all. The girl. She's been waiting too. For the person with her token. Oh, I see it. Fall behind now, Rui. That's where the shit hit the fan last time. Alright. Don't even want to get near those boxes. Alright. Camera is reacting to something. What do we see here? One of the boxes nearest some kind of cavern it needs to be opened. This is the oh, finally. Getting fucked up. Okay. I think I was almost considering going back to the house. And we found it. It's the failed house. 
Is, is someone there? Let's go in. Got some good film, hopefully. Oh shit! Let me go! Let me go! I see it, but it won't let me grab it. What the fuck is going on? There we go. Hmm. Every creepy corridor. Pretty modern outfit. All right. Can we turn off the TV? Where the fuck is it coming from, man? There we go. Anytime now, sweetheart. Oh fuck, he's still alive. What in the world? Not good. It was annoying. Folklorist notes. There's a peculiar custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered, but why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home.
It seems that keeps happening because I haven't used a... Uh, get the fuck off me. That flower gauge is like full, so I'll probably have to adjust that. Good film. Let's take a look. Purifying embers. I only got three. Gotta get more dim. Get off my buddy! Shoot! Shoot! the one that looked at us. Ghost marriage. Creepy. I'm good. Rabbit. Fixed. Post mortem photography made its way over to the West along with the spread of the camera. Uh, when photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. The postmortem photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here at Mahakami region, especially, uh, seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe these photos were the work of a scientist named Kune, Kunihiko Aso. Uh, having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems he, wa uh, he was the one behind many of them. 
His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've come to believe he had some degree of success in doing so. <clears throat> An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that looking through the viewfinder meant peering out through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find these words have a certain resonance. Okay. me, I say. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of waters flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It's the source of this mountain's beauty as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Hakami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of which of much worship, uh, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hakami sect taught that, upon dying, people return to the water. Here in the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to the water upon death, rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would, uh, would gather at the mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this uh, scene, uh, to look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for uh, passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That's fucked up. This is to, that is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. All right, let's see what's up with this. Uh, thing here. Items. Here we go. I expect you to go through all this shit just to find the tape. Where the fuck's the tape, bro? Really? Okay. Okay. There we go. The shrine maidens use the water as a conduit between the living and the dead. Those who come to the mountain are transfixed by death. To die is to return to the water. The water is connected to everything. The shrine maidens glance into the souls of the dying, taking on their final memories. Then, the shrine maidens become the pillars, and those memories are submerged in the water. If water really is connected to everything, then this mountain, overflowing with water, must also be overflowing with death. I saw the silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that enveloped the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. Excuse me. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water. 
Would that then imply they are trapped within the mist? It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars and special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. It was the soul of shrine it was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to the water themselves. In doing so, it was believed the subjects would continue living on as pillars. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would enter them uh, would enter themselves in boxes buried uh, underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related. But what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various technique, uh, teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, uh, also known as the netherworld or the hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where others claim it lies underground, within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain, it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. The pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. It's like the same shit, just regurgitated. Why am I reading all this crap? Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. And another cassette. The shrine maidens were sacrificed as pillars. Oh my god, we know this already. so creepy. I hate that shit. Oh, it's that third floor. I remember this from earlier. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Ghost left the notebook behind when it disappeared. Mount Hakami seems to have been both revered and feared as a mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Vis well, we've been going back and forth for a while now. Uh, visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where shrine maidens kept strict watch in allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Excuse me. Today the shrine at its at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. 
Kunihiko Aso. After taking his post-mortem photographs, it seemed he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I have heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see those, uh, if I could see these photos of the shrine maidens taken with a special camera, I'm certain I can come closer to unraveling the mystery of Mount Hakami. When invited to the mountain, it is said he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. Just said it's only for the dying man. Oh, snap, snap. Ooh, the mist, mist. Okay. Come on, Rui. Rui. I said Rui. Come on, Rui. Let's blow this popsicle stand, man. That's right. Uh oh. Oh no. Say it ain't so. Get your camera out, fool. It's the same ghost that was in the attic. B -b -b Bust to move. What are you just standing there for? Oh, that's fucking lame. Come on, man. That was way off. I got him once. So, wait a little while longer for the fatal play. Oh my god! Jeez, look at all them all. It's all upside down and shit. Is he ever gonna attack me again? Where's the fatal frame? There we go. Touch it. Ugh. I made it at last. She's waiting for me inside this house. I must hurry. totally devoured him. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on, the, on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it had become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion the only, that only the invited can find? It is different from other postmodern photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. 
They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. And another ridiculous Keiji Watari. Camera, not camera, but record. Here we go. You know, apparently they say that's the greatest uh, philosophical question. As posed in the play Hamlet, to be or not to be? Like, should you or should you not kill yourself? What the fuck is... Oh, my dude! Leave my lady friend alone. Leave my cross-dressing lady friend alone. I'll fuck you up, man. Come on now, do something stupid now, Karen. That's not fair now. That's not fair now, Kieran. Dude. What the shit? Well, that's kind of cheap. Because one, you can't fucking see him. And you have to take a picture to get him to be shown. And then... It's like you gotta do like a blind shot. I'm just complaining too much. Get dead. Bring it. But you hurt my buddy. You leave my cross dressing buddy out of this. She wants to be a boy, you need better let her be a boy! That's the way things is! This is 2021, bitch! Oh my god. It reloads so slowly. And of course he'll be invisible. Where the fuck is he? Shit's weak. Kiss the torch. Shit. Saw that coming a fucking mile away. Yeah, it's horseship, hell. Okay, I'm gonna try to lock on him, see if that helps. And I'm switching this shit up. I don't wanna be in this fight any longer. Yeah, what you, what do you got? Okay, cheap motherfucker. Take the fucking shot. Take the fucking shot. Why are you not taking the fucking shot? Dude, I pressed the shoot button. Can you not take a shot? Square, R1. Where in the fuck is it? Dude, what the fuck's going on? Oh, you have to use the four. It's fucking cheap. Yeah, there you go, yeah. 
That makes a lot of fucking sense. Dude, this game's pissing me off. Fuck you. You're fucking dead already, man. Fuck. Pressing X, not square. Damn, that boss fight was bullshit. Get me the fuck out of here. Can't exit that way. What in the fuck? That's a big woman. Get me the fuck out of here. And just like that, it's gone. That is some creepy shit. Oh, hmm, oh, <laughs> hmm, oh, <laughs> and we're still going. All right. So, I don't know how I'm going to edit this shit. This should be the end of episode 7. But, uh, let's press on and see what, what goes on. Was that... was that the folklorist? I guess so. Just what is going on in this mountain? Exactly what the hell I'd like I'm to know. Sure. Is Mr. Sakaki here on the mountain too? Oh, Mr. Kaki. Pupu kaki. Pupu kaka. It's been a long episode. Wish I could record and edit more than one hour at a time. Ren and Rui set out to find the folklorist's house. Relying on clues from the video recording, as they passed through the Shrine of Dolls, the white-haired white girls from Ren's dream appeared. She asked why he didn't bring her token, then vanished. This is like a recap. Jeez. Alright, well, that should be the end of Episode 7. Uh, I might have to edit things up. This might be the end of Episode 8. But I'm pretty sure it'll probably be 7. I'll just edit a few things out. Alright, guys. See ya. That's the end of Episode uh, 7. I'll see you in the next one.